back. It's been like, what, like two weeks since I did a video? A YouTube video at that? I know, so I'm sorry, life gets the best of us. Um, so today I'm gonna do this really quick, simple look for you guys. You know, one of my favorite cut creases, but I got these awesome magnet lashes from All Doll Cosmetics. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is my first time ever using magnet lashes. So you guys get my like genuine full, <laughs> um, uh, what's it called, reaction to this. And they're bomb. I love magnet lashes. They're my new fave. I was super skeptical at first, but I was like, you know what? Like I've heard great things about them. So let me just try it. And they're really good, especially if you don't like, you know, waiting for your glue to dry and all that stuff. Like these girl bomb, yes. Nice, quick, super easy. And they're hella cute. Like I like these lashes. So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this look for you guys. Show you how to do these magnet lashes. And yeah, so let's get started. So I already um, filled in my eyebrows because today we're going to really focus on the magnet lashes and the look that we're going to do today. It's going to be a super simple look. I'm not going to do nothing too crazy. Like I said, I really want to focus on the magnet lashes that we're going to be doing. So let's get started. I'm going to make this eyeshadow look really quick for you guys. So I'm just going to start off with my eyeshadow primer. I feel like a lot of people don't use eyeshadow primers no more. I don't know why, but it works for me. I mean, you know what? I mean, okay, so like when I first started using eyeshadow primers, they weren't like staying on that well. Um, or it would make my, I don't know how to, what's the word I'm looking for? It would make the eyeshadows look kind of cakey, but this primer is probably the best one I've got. It's the Too Faced 24 Hour Eye Insurance Primer. Did I say that right? Shadow Insurance. Yeah, 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. And it's anti-crease, it works really good. This is a mini one. I had a big one, but I ran out and I had this mini one, so might as well use it. So Mark discontinued Jeffree Star and I had bought the classic basic artistry palette from them a little while ago and I've been using it like crazy. Like I said, I just could do a really simple look today, so let's get started. And I will be using all brushes from the First Place Face Shop. This is the um, Pro Set, the ID Taylor Number no. 2 Pro Set. Um, it's on sale right now until September 1st, so don't forget to grab that, you guys. It's a really good set if you're like me, you do a lot of eyeshadow detailing, you like to do cut creases a lot. These are really good because all the brushes are small but precise and they'll give you a really good blend. They're vegan brushes, synthetic, so they will last long. Um, they're really good brushes. I like these brushes a lot, and I think you guys will too. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use them right now so you can, can see the quality of them. So this palette, like the first five colors are called Welcome Back to My Channel, and they're really soft, pretty colors, so I think those are the colors we're gonna do today. See? Welcome back to my channel. So these five colors right here are the ones we're going to be using today. We're going to do a pretty simple soft cut crease. So we'll start off with channel. This is a really good brush to use to like start off your cut crease because it's very precise. Then go into back and kind of sandwich that on top of the channel color. Now we're kind of getting somewhere. Use this little tapered um, fluffy brush from the Crystal Clear set. And I'm just gonna dip back into the two colors and go over them. Uh, fluffy brushes are really good for blending. And we just kind of really want to make sure this pink and this orange color back and channel are really blended in together. And go ahead and just add more color to really pump up the vibrancy. And you just wanna keep reapplying. Everybody always expects that you have to get that vibrant color down on the first shot. And even some of the best, you know, pressed pigments or eyeshadows, you know, you always wanna reapply and layer it on and keep blending and blending until you get the, you know, flawless look. 
Now we're gonna cut our crease. I'm gonna use one of the brushes from the um, number two pro set. Um, this is good because it's a flat brush. It's a really good flat, small brush. Like compared to my finger, you can see how small it is. So it's perfect for precise, you know, cut creases. So I detailer. Yeah, it's my new favorite brush to do cut crease. That came out perfect. Now, welcome into are the two shimmer colors in this palette. So this one and this one we're gonna use on the lid. I'm gonna transition from this in the inner quarter and then this one to the middle and then fade it out with this one on the end. On the 20 piece brush set, I'm using the flat, um, flat top and it's very thin. So it holds a lot of eyeshadow and it's flat. So it'll really get that area in. So we're start off with welcome. Now I'm gonna dip into my, and we're gonna use that to fade out our color right here. And then we'll dip back into channel. To blend out those hard edges. And then again, dip back with that fluffy brush just to kind of pull it all together. I'm really not um, applying much color right now. I'm just kind of blending it all in. Lower lash line, I'm going to use back since I have so much orange on the top. I want to kind of counteract that with this pink on the bottom. The fun part, yay! So Odd Dog Cosmetics sent me these super cute um, magnetic lashes and it comes with the eyeliner also. I personally never use magnet lashes so you guys are going to be trying it with me. <laughs> um, of course we got to start off with our eyeliner so let's open this bad boy up. So now, let's go ahead and put these pretty little lashes on. So it comes with this. I'm assuming this is like the, pretty much the eyeliner that you use. This is the eyeliner that you use to put on to do the lashes for the magnetizing. I'm gonna put this on top of the eyeliner right here that I already applied, but just over the lash line. And then I'm gonna take my lashes and go ahead and apply it. Oh my God, that worked so easy. <gasps> I like this. <laughs> this was so easy, oh my God. I don't have to like worry about it lifting or any of that. That's fucking dope. Whoever thought of this was a genius. Odd doll, I like you guys. Andre, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love this. So now I'm gonna do the other side. When I'm in a rush to go to the store or something, like this is what I'm gonna do from now on because this is just like super dope. Like I fucking love this. I like it, I really, really like it. Like I really like how I don't have to worry about like, oh my God, the glue's not dry yet. It's lifting, ooh, like this just goes on. Then we're gonna use my Juvia stick, Juvia's Place foundation stick. I have this one in Barcelona. And I'm pretty much gonna kind of apply this all over. I'm gonna use this round buffer brush from the Crystal Clear set. I like this brush for my foundation because it really buffs it in, doesn't leave any streaks. Contour. This part, I'm gonna use the medium sculpted set. I'm gonna go back with the powder contour, but the bronzer part, just kinda kinda define it a little bit more. I'm using the angled um, contour brush from the Crystal Clear set. 
and we're gonna bake. I got our glow on. I'm gonna use this big ass fan brush from the Crystal Clear set. Ooh, yes. I use the NYX lip liner in Dainty Days. It's a very light nude um, lip liner. Then I'm gonna use a Huda Beauty Lipstick in Staycation. And this Ofer Lip Gloss in Sugar Cup. It's a pink. Ooh. And we're done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this little review tutorial I did with the Odd Doll Cosmetics lashes. Make sure you guys go check them out on Instagram at Odd Doll Co. Um, awesome lashes. I think I'm a new fan of magnet lashes just because how easy and precise and quick it is. Especially if you're one of those girls who like have trouble with always trying to glue it on or oh my god my glue is not drying. Like this girl bomb. Yes. <laughs>